Mammoth remains from 52,000 years ago years revealed the three-dimensional structure of his chromosome. In 2018, perfectly preserved remains of a 52,000-year-old woolly mammoth were found in the Siberian tundra. Years From a piece of the animal's skin, scientists managed to read its full genome and reconstruct the three-dimensional structure of its chromosomes which will allow us to learn about the functioning of the genes located in them. An international team of researchers read the full genome and reconstructed the three-dimensional structures of the chromosomes of a 52,000-year-old woolly mammoth. Years This was possible thanks to the excellent preservation of the animal's body. The mammoth remains appear to have undergone a natural freeze-drying process similar to that used to preserve food, also called freeze-drying. Conditions of the Siberian tundra 52,000 years ago, they allow water to be removed from a frozen body by ice sublimation, i.e. the ice passed directly from the solid state to the gaseous state, bypassing the liquid state. The three-dimensional structure of the chromosomes provide insight into how the mammoth genome was organized and which genes were active in the skin tissue from which the DNA was extracted. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Cell. Woolly Mammoths, Mammoths Primigenius, roamed the Earth freely during the last Ice Age. They are thought to have become extinct about 10,000 years ago. Although some isolated populations, such as on Wrangell Island, have survived longer. It is estimated that the Wrangell Island population existed for another 4,000 years. Years ago. And because they lived in a frosty environment, many of their remains were well preserved, although none compares in this respect to the analyzed find. The freeze-dried remains of a female mammoth come from northeastern Siberia and were excavated in 2018. The specimen contained not only bones but also skin tissue. The preservation process allowed the body to be kept in excellent condition. Even the hair on almost the entire body has been preserved. We know that tiny fragments of ancient DNA can survive for a long time says Marcella Sandoval Velasco from the University of Copenhagen, CEO author of the study. But what we found here is a sample in which the three-dimensional arrangement of these DNA fragments has been preserved for tens of millennia, so we have reconstructed the structure of the entire chromosome, he adds. This is a new type of fossil and its scale dwarfs single ancient DNA fragments because it has a million times more sequences, says Erez Lieberman Aden from Baylor College of Medicine, CEO author of the publication. This is also the first time that a karyotype of any kind has been established for an ancient sample, he adds. A karyotype is the complete set of chromosomes found in a cell. Knowledge of the three-dimensional architecture of the genome provides a lot of additional information beyond its sequence. Most ancient DNA specimens consist of very small, jumbled fragments because the DNA molecules begin to fall apart when the animal dies, but in this case, to the researcher's surprise, the animal's chromosomes were perfectly preserved. Armed with exceptionally well-preserved remains, a team of scientists extracted DNA from a skin sample taken from behind the mammoth's ear. The DNA was then analyzed using a method known as Hi-C, which can identify sections of DNA that likely interacted with each other while the animal was alive. In ordinary DNA sequencing, its spatial structure is lost. 
Imagine you have a puzzle with 3 billion pieces, but you don't have a final picture of the puzzle to work from, says Mark Martirinam, a geneticist at Spain's National Center for Genomic Analysis. HiC connects parts of the genome that naturally come together, giving a rough picture of the entire puzzle. The researchers then combined the information from HiC analysis with DNA sequencing to identify interacting sections of DNA and create an ordered map of the mammoth genome, using the genomes of modern elephants as a template. Comparisons with modern elephants, the closest living relatives of mammoths, showed not only similarities in chromosome number and structure, but also differences in the activity of genes involved in hair growth and adaptation to cold. The analysis showed that woolly mammoths had 28 chromosomes, the same number as modern Asian and African elephants. The researchers also found that the expression of genes is associated with hair follicle development was altered in mammoth skin compared to elephant skin.